don't need a date. What'll it be, honey? Is that a trick question? Pale girls. Oh, like the Fitzsimmons albino. Yeah, she hasn't been in here in ages. Thin blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? Hmm. I know I've heard that before. Oh, that girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Not like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah. Weird. She left the tip, but she didn't order a thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night, with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. She left some stuff here. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you run into her? of this city wrap around the great worm and all who live in its stinking I don't care. I need to find him so he can find him. It's 250 grand of my money on the line here. Look, Nobody look, I'll talk to you later, okay? Let me know if you hear anything about either. You into bed. That's what I'm here for. And hey, why don't you call me sometime? Area code 323-KL5-KTRK. Looks like somebody's been waiting in the queue quite a while to speak to yours truly. So, caller, why aren't you asleep? Uh, uh, insects. Insects? As in you have an insect problem? Or chirping crickets are keeping you up? Or you have nightmares about them? Help me out here. No, no, no. Don't you know? When you fall asleep, they can crawl into your mouth or your ears or, or your nose. You, you can't prevent it if you're asleep. I mean, you, what can you do? Are there any scientists out there listening to this? Uh, I, I read something. I, I don't know where, but do you know the average person... are all rotten and the storm is our death sentence!
Lovely Please, evening. Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. All right, go on back. I'm sorry, miss, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. We're getting no response. If I could only rest for a second. I told you, I will get to you when I can. Please take a seat. Get a crash cart in here. Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. All right, so, go on back. It's a nice night out, huh?
Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. All right, go on back.
This area is for hospital staff only. You can let yourself out. Dr. Bussman's bell, the operator, Dr. Bussman's bell, the operator. You next up for the needle? Hmm? Huh? Your donation could save a life, you know. Oh, but isn't it a little late for altruism? I don't think you're here to give blood at all. I don't buy it, Betty. I bet you're here to take blood. Am I right? Right down to business. None of this pretend I don't drink blood shit. 
Very refreshing to find a decisive customer. I respect that. So, what'll it be? Employees only. Them's the rules of the queen bitch herself. She did, huh? Queen bitch told me never to let anyone back there. I remember her repeating it over and over in that cold, pretentious voice of hers. Now serving number 75? Number 75. Need a fix? Employees only. Them's the rules of the queen bitch herself. Now serving number 75? Number 75? Who are you? Uh, what are you doing back here? Maybe let's cook up some stuff. Phil, I'm hungry. I, f I feel a snee. Maybe I'd cook up some some snacks. Some fucking. Maybe I'd cook up some some snacks. Some fucking. Some some ro Oh, brother. Shucking. Maybe I'd cook up some stuff. Phil. Hungry.
You don't look well at all. Oh, sweet mother of God! The heat. Mmm. It's never been so satisfying. All of it. I drank until I heard his heart stop, and I was sucking on a dry, dead artery. It was euphoric. But I've... I've... killed him. I've never killed anyone before. What happened? What came over me? What just happened? It's not who I am. I've never done anything like that before. I'm not a monster. I tried to steal some blood. I heard they sold it. I was hungry, and I can't hunt in town. They caught me, and I was strapped, trapped. Thought I'd never escape, but I killed a man. I have to get out of here. My name is Lily. E? You know E? I... How do you know E? I tried to tell E about his condition, but he was so furious at me for what I'd made him into, he wouldn't listen. A thin blood, from what I've been told, is a vampire whose blood is weaker than most. Rolf, my sire, told me some vampires consider thin bloods a bad omen and want them destroyed. Rolf wasn't a thin blood, and apparently I am. I don't know why. Rolf abandoned me. His group wouldn't take me in. They said I was a liability. He left me with so many questions. And I did the same thing to E, but I didn't want to leave E. He forced me out of his life. I... I should go. I have to get out of here. Maybe out of the city. Soon. E doesn't hate me anymore? I'll go see him. Thank you. Oh, about tonight, what I did? Please, don't tell E. It's not my fault. I couldn't control it. I've never done anything like this before. I'm no killer. Why'd you have to go and let that bitch out? There's one less fill in the world now. Why'd you have to let her go and eat him, huh? No, I'll never get to do in that bastard myself. Well, you know what? No blood for you. No more! That's interesting. A missed opportunity. Guns make people cocky. They never appreciate what a skilled hand married to a knife can do. All you have to do is get close enough to cut off the trigger finger. Or their face. You like to talk, don't you? I want to hear a story. Tell me, what's the best way you violenced up someone? I want to hear every grisly detail. If I like your story, I'll sell you some blood. Blood comes from out of the living. From all kinds in a red torrent. A crimson seep at the speed of a heartbeat. For each drop, a teeny bit of life shed. You don't care how it's got, as long as it is. You'll be begging for it, and not getting any.
Evening.